Hi guys, welcome to ET's Indian channel and today we will be making a few different kind of parantas with different stuffings. These are flavorful. Paranta is basically an Indian flat bread and I will show you seven different unique ways to enjoy this lovely bread. So we will start by preparing the dough. For the dough, you will combine flour with water and add a little bit of a oil on top. So regular flour that we use to make roti, Indian bread. This is whole wheat flour. Just add water in it, form a smooth dough like you would for any kind of basic Indian bread. So flour and water combined together, a little bit of oil on top and our dough is ready. Once the dough is ready, you can form small dough balls, almost lemon size or tennis ball size. And we will start by making a simple, regular, plain, Paranta. Once you mastered the plain paranta, then we can play with different uh, ways to create variety of paranta. So small piece of dough, we dusted it with some flour, you'll flatten it out a little bit more flour, flattening it out once it's flat. So difference between this and regular roti is that this is um, unleavened, but it's also made with a little bit more oil. So we have added oil in the center. Now we will flatten it out again, dusting it with flour and we'll flatten it until it's nice thin layer. Then we cook it on a skillet. This is your paranta. This is great for morning breakfast basically. So that's our plain paranta without any stuffing, without any filling. Skillet is hot. You'll add in your paranta and we will cook it in either desi ghee or butter or sometimes we just use oil. So make sure that the skillet is hot. Once the skillet is hot, then you add your flatbread and we let it cook until it has brown spots on both sides. So we're just pressing it down with Kleenex, with a tissue paper, you can use kitchen cloth. And after a few minutes, you can flip it. You can see nice brown colors appearing then you will add in uh, butter once it's cooked otherwise it will keep soaking in more butter all right plain paranta is ready now going to our second paranta kind which is my kids favorite it's cheese paranta who doesn't like cheesy paranta so flatten out piece of dough add in some shredded cheese i'm using plain mozzarella you can use cheddar cheese or any kind that you prefer again just put it in roll it close it make a little pocket flatten this pocket out dust it with a little bit of flour that makes it easy you can also wet your hands a little bit if you find it sticky to work with dough look at that flattening it out if you add too much it can start to break so that's something you have to be careful uh, with don't put in too much adding it on hot skillet again and we will cook it until it's brown on both sides then we'll add in a little bit of butter oil desi ghee that's clarified butter and then you can enjoy it just like it is or maybe with a cup of tea you can already see that the cheese is melting it's oozing out a little bit some brown spots have started to come up now we are adding in butter my kids like to just eat it as as it is you can just roll it you can pack it in their lunch kits if they are going to childcare or school nowadays everything is shut off so you can just make a bunch enjoy it whenever the hunger strikes all right that was our second paranta guys are you ready for the third one mm, it's so delicious that's my little girl enjoying the paranta so her favorite is actually nutella paranta which is a chocolate paranta so i have here some nutella chocolate spread which is going on a piece of dough flattened out just close it like the others make a little pocket flatten it out and then just cook it on the skillet the other thing is you can just make a plain paranta and you can just spread nutella on top too but that gets sticky it sticks to your hands and stuff so this way everything stays inside all right that's ready done too thin it will start to come out that's something again we have to be mindful of making sure it's not too too thin all right adding butter flipping it over brown spots are coming up more butter and that's your delicious nutella paranta or chocolate paranta it's a great little snack whenever you want something sweet but not too sweet 
So this could be a great way to feed the kids as well. Alright guys, next we have something savory, something salty. So after chocolate paranta, we've got chili ajwain paranta, which is perfect with a cup of hot tea. If you don't want anything sweet, chili ajwain paranta is amazing. We also add some onion seeds in it, uh, najala seeds to give it more flavor, more boldness of taste. So flattening out dough bread, adding some salt, chilies, um, chili flakes or chili powder. I'm adding red chili powder here. You can also use cayenne pepper or maybe paprika. I have these um, black onion seeds, najala seeds as they are called. We will add those in. Sometimes they go on top of the naan. All right, those are in. Now I'm going to add ajwain. That's caraway seeds or caram seeds. They are good for digestion. So if you're just sitting home because of the shutdown, lockdown, this ajwain paranta might be it. All right, we'll fold it over. It's a new skill you can learn if you've never made paratha before. Try different stuffings. All right, little pocket is ready. We'll flatten it out, dust it with some flour. And then roll it out, make it thin. You can make it as thin as you want. Making it thin is a little tricky. So if you want to keep it a little thick, that's okay too. All right, you can see the seeds here. So this is becoming pretty thin. And now we are ready to put it on our pan i really like it thin almost like a crepe and then we'll cook it on our hot skillet again until it is nice and golden brown on both sides all right guys that was our fourth paranta for all of you who like a little bit of salty savory flavor a juwine onion seeds and chilies next we are making a garlic and cilantro paranta so once this one is done we'll take it off the stove going with garlic cilantro pranta which is great with a pickle as a snack all right small dough ball again almost tennis ball size lemon flatten it out then add in your stuffing this time we are going with a little bit of oil so that everything sticks so putting oil inside the dough is one of the things that happens with a paranta that doesn't happen in a roti so cilantro leaves chopped finely you can also try mint paranta if you like and minced garlic a little bit of salt and then we'll just roll it once again making a pocket flatten it out dust it with flour dusting it with flour makes it easy to flatten it out and then once it's flat we will put it on the pan again cooking it until it's golden brown on both sides so you can make whatever stuffing you like depending on what your family members prefer. I am more of a salty savory person when it comes to parantas, kids like a little sweeter. So these ones are going to be for me with some cilantro and garlic flavor, a little bit better than a plain boring paranta. Once it's brown, that will come off the pan and we are going with our next paranta which is coconut cinnamon paranta which is great for breakfast just like a flavorful um, grape. So add a little bit of oil to start with. This is crushed, dried coconut flakes. You can also use fresh coconut if you like, but I think that fresh coconut might have some water that can make it tricky. Some sugar, some cinnamon, we'll fold it. You'll have to be careful of how much coconut stuffing you add in, flatten it out. This is again, very flavorful. Instead of eating a cookie, maybe you can try a coconut paranta with your coffee or tea. All right, there we go. Adding butter on both sides once it's nice and brown. And that is our coconut paranta with some cinnamon and sugar. Extremely delicious. Last but not least, guys, I have something for all those peanut butter fans out there of peanut butter paratha so on dough flat piece of dough we are adding in some peanut butter and very finely crushed peanuts if they are thick they start to come out of the dough so you have to make sure that you crush them well i just use my mortar and pestle flatten out and we'll put it on our pan again until it's nice and golden brown on both sides so you can see the ones that were a little bit bigger have started to come out, but the paranta is still going to be delicious. 
So just be careful with how big of chunks of peanuts you add into your paratha and cook it until golden brown spots appear on both sides. 